Welcome to this video summary of The Social Animal by David Brooks. In this video, we have explored some of the key themes and ideas presented in the book, including the importance of emotional intelligence, social connections, childhood experiences, creativity and innovation, self-control, morality and values, perception of reality, and personal growth and transformation. However, this summary only scratches the surface of the wealth of insights and information presented in the book. If you want to learn more and deepen your understanding of these topics, we highly recommend getting a copy of the book. You can find the link in the pinned comment below. So, let's dive deeper into the social animal and unlock the hidden sources of love, character, and achievement. 1. The unconscious mind plays a powerful role in shaping our behavior, decisions, and relationships. Brooks argues that our unconscious mind is like a hidden force that drives us towards certain decisions and actions, often without us even realizing it. He suggests that our conscious mind is only the tip of the iceberg, and that the vast majority of our thoughts and feelings are processed unconsciously. Throughout the book, Brooks uses a combination of research, anecdotes, and storytelling to illustrate how our unconscious mind influences everything from our romantic relationships to our career choices. He explores topics such as empathy, self-control, and the importance of social connections in shaping our lives. One of the key takeaways from The Social Animal is that we need to pay more attention to our unconscious mind if we want to live a fulfilling life. By understanding the hidden sources of our behavior and decisions, we can make more conscious choices and create a life that is aligned with our deepest values and desires. 2. Emotional intelligence is a critical factor in personal and professional success and can be developed through practice and self-reflection. Brooks argues that emotional intelligence is a critical factor in achieving success in all areas of life, from personal relationships to business. He defines emotional intelligence as the ability to recognize and manage our own emotions, as well as the emotions of others. According to Brooks, emotional intelligence can be developed through practice and self-reflection. He suggests that we need to be aware of our own emotional states and learn to regulate them in order to be more effective in our interactions with others. 3. Social connections and relationships are essential to our well-being and happiness and can be strengthened through intentional effort. Brooks argues that humans are social animals and that our relationships with others are essential to our happiness and fulfillment. He suggests that social connections provide us with a sense of belonging, purpose, and meaning in life. He also explores the negative effects of social isolation and the importance of maintaining a diverse network of relationships. Brooks suggests that social connections and relationships can be strengthened through intentional effort. He provides practical tips for building and maintaining strong relationships, such as actively listening to others, expressing gratitude, and being vulnerable. For our upbringing and childhood experiences have a profound impact on our development and long-term outcomes. Brooks argues that our childhood experiences shape our personality, character, and life trajectory. He suggests that our early experiences with our parents, family, and community play a critical role in shaping our sense of self, values, and beliefs. He also explores the negative effects of childhood trauma and the importance of early intervention and support for children who are at risk. Brooks suggests that by understanding the impact of our childhood experiences, we can take steps to address any negative patterns or behaviors that may be holding us back. He also provides practical tips for parents and caregivers to create a nurturing and supportive environment for children. 5. The pursuit of happiness is not an individualistic endeavor, but rather requires a sense of purpose and belonging within a larger community. Brooks argues that humans are social animals and that our sense of happiness and fulfillment is deeply tied to our relationships with others. He suggests that we need to feel a sense of purpose and belonging within a larger community in order to achieve true happiness. Throughout the book, Brooks provides numerous examples of individuals who have found happiness and fulfillment through their connections with others. He also explores the negative effects of individualism and the importance of community in promoting well-being. Brooks suggests that by finding a sense of purpose and belonging within a larger community, we can achieve a deeper sense of happiness and fulfillment. He provides practical tips for building and maintaining strong relationships, such as volunteering, joining a group, or participating in community events. 6. Creativity and innovation are often the result of combining disparate ideas and perspectives in new and unexpected ways. Brooks argues that creativity and innovation often come from combining disparate ideas and perspectives in new and unexpected ways. 
He suggests that by exposing ourselves to diverse experiences and perspectives, we can expand our thinking and generate new ideas. Brooks also explores the negative effects of conformity and the importance of embracing our unique perspectives and ideas. Brooks suggests that by intentionally seeking out diverse experiences and perspectives, we can stimulate our creativity and generate new ideas. He provides practical tips for expanding our thinking, such as traveling to new places, reading widely, and engaging with people from different backgrounds. 7. The ability to delay gratification and exercise self-control is a key predictor of success in life. Brooks argues that the ability to delay gratification and exercise self-control is a key predictor of success in life. He suggests that individuals who are able to resist temptation and focus on long-term goals are more likely to achieve success in all areas of life. Brooks suggests that by practicing self-control and delaying gratification, we can achieve greater success in all areas of life. He provides practical tips for developing self-discipline, such as setting clear goals, creating a plan, and practicing mindfulness. 8. Our sense of morality and values are shaped by both nature and nurture, and can be influenced by social norms and cultural expectations. Brooks argues that our sense of morality and values is influenced by our biology, upbringing, and social environment. He suggests that our genetic makeup and early childhood experiences play a significant role in shaping our moral compass. Throughout the book, Brooks provides numerous examples of individuals who have developed strong moral character through a combination of nature and nurture. He also explores the negative effects of moral relativism and the importance of adhering to shared social norms and cultural expectations. Brooks suggests that by understanding the complex interplay between nature and nurture in shaping our moral character, we can cultivate a deeper sense of empathy and compassion for others. He provides practical tips for developing moral character, such as practicing gratitude, volunteering, and engaging in acts of kindness. 9. Our perception of reality is often filtered through our own biases and assumptions, and can be expanded through exposure to diverse perspectives and experiences. Brooks argues that our perception of reality is often filtered through our own biases and assumptions. He suggests that our experiences, upbringing, and social environment can shape our worldview and limit our ability to see things from different perspectives. Brooks suggests that by intentionally seeking out diverse perspectives and experiences, we can expand our perception of reality and become more open-minded and empathetic. He provides practical tips for broadening our horizons, such as traveling to new places, reading widely, and engaging with people from different backgrounds. The Social Animal highlights the importance of expanding our perception of reality and becoming more open-minded and empathetic. By embracing complexity and ambiguity, we can cultivate a deeper understanding of ourselves and others and create a more just and equitable society. 10. Personal growth and transformation are ongoing processes that require self-awareness, reflection, and a willingness to embrace change. Brooks argues that personal growth and transformation require self-awareness, reflection, and a willingness to embrace change. He suggests that individuals who are able to recognize their own strengths and weaknesses, reflect on their experiences, and adapt to new circumstances are more likely to achieve success and fulfillment in life. Brooks suggests that by cultivating self-awareness, reflecting on our experiences, and embracing change, we can achieve personal transformation and growth. He provides practical tips for developing these essential skills, such as journaling, seeking feedback, and engaging in self-reflection. In conclusion, The Social Animal by David Brooks is a thought-provoking and insightful book that challenges us to think differently about how we live our lives. It provides a wealth of information and practical tips for cultivating emotional intelligence, building strong relationships, overcoming childhood trauma, fostering creativity and innovation, developing self-control, embracing diverse perspectives, and achieving personal growth and transformation. By understanding these hidden sources of love, character, and achievement, we can create a more fulfilling and meaningful life. We hope this summary has piqued your interest in the book and encouraged you to explore these ideas further. Don't forget to check out the link in the pinned comment below to get your own copy of The Social Animal. Thank you for watching.